Hey guys, TechTipper101 here. Today I have a quick tutorial on how to put your iOS device into DFU mode. Now for many of you out there, um, if you do not know what DFU mode is, it is basically a state uh, that you put your device in, your iOS device, your iPad, your iPod Touch, or your iPhone, in a state in which iTunes recognizes it so that you can install custom firmware, downgrade, upgrade, or restore your device back to factory settings. Now, this is different than just connecting your device into uh, iTunes and just clicking restore or update because um, that does it automatically from Apple's end. In DFU mode, you can manually select which version you want to put your um, iPhone or uh, iPod Touch or iPad into. And DFU mode is basically a necessity uh, to know how to do if you're going to jailbreak because the jailbreak takes um, the DFU mode as its base to install all this like code and hack your um, device so for the most recent jailbreak however you don't need to put it in DFU mode but if you're using Red Snow or trying to install custom firmware or any of that type of stuff you really need to know how to enter DFU mode but it's really simple and most people just get hung up on the timing of it now, in order to put your device in DFU mode, you need to do only a few things. First of all, make sure your device is on. If your device is not turning on or it's off, or uh, make sure it's at least charged, it has some battery power, it's the same steps. But for the most part, if your device is on, all you have to do is connect your device first to your computer. Make sure you have iTunes running. Also, if this is the first time you're connecting the device you're going to put into DFU mode to a certain computer that's not yours, just wait for the computer to install the drivers and stuff. Because uh, many times, in my case, I had to put my iPhone in DFU mode and I wasn't in my computer. And the computer I was using was uh, in school, so that school didn't usually have uh, an iPhone associated with. So you have to wait for it to install drivers, which takes like two seconds. But once you, in once you plug in um, your... Uh, iOS device into the computer, all you have to do is hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds release the power button and keep holding down the home button until it shows up uh, in iTunes saying your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad is in recovery mode, uh, please uh, restore to a firmware. So let's do that now and I'll count along with you. So just hold down the home button and the power button for 10 seconds, here we go, 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that only took around 19 seconds and once you're in DFU mode your screen will turn black and it's really not off, it's actually on because iTunes recognizes it and in iTunes you'll get a message like this that says iTunes has detected an iPad in recovery mode. It doesn't say DFU mode all the time, by the way. You must restore this iPad before it can be used in iTunes. So that's pretty much it. That's how you put your iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone into DFU mode. Now, in order to get out of DFU mode, is even much more simpler. All you have to do is hold down the power button and home button for 10 seconds and then let go and it will reboot by itself. So here we go. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's it. Your I iOS device should uh, turn on. There you go. You see it rebooting back up and you should be at the home screen. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials, more helpful tips, and more guides coming soon in the future. And if you have any questions, comments, or requests for how to do videos, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys once again. Stay tuned.